Let's find the limit of sine x over x plus sine x as x approaches zero. When we see this limit, we might immediately start to think about sine x over x as x approaches zero, a famous limit that we know is equal to one. Of course, that's not present in this limit right now, but there is a way to introduce it. In fact, if we just divide everything in this limit by x, that's going to make everything work out because then we'll have sine x over x, which we know is one. We'll have x over x, which is one, and sine x over x, which again is one. So check this out. We divide everything by x. Sine x gets divided by x, x gets divided by x, and the sine x in the denominator gets divided by x, getting us here. And remember, this is an acceptable move because all we're doing is multiplying the top and bottom by one over x. So we're really just multiplying by one. And since x is approaching zero, we know it doesn't equal zero. So there's no problems here. In the next step, we take the limit operator into the fraction. We don't need to apply it to the one because one is not affected by x approaching zero, but we will have the limit of sine x over x as x approaches zero in the numerator and in the denominator as well. Of course, this limit is well known. We know it equals one. So this is one over one plus one, which is one half. And that is the limit of sine x over x plus sine x. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and be sure to check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. If you want to help support Wrath of Math so I can keep making more math videos even when I'm sick as a dog, please consider joining as a channel member and you also get access to additional exclusive calculus content.